you add the tube to your mouth and you start talking, you can sound like Daft Punk, basically. Hello Internet, my name is Frankie Nuts and today I'm going to show you how I make my track Clarity. And uh, we're going to talk about the talk box. The talk box? Yes, the talk box. Uh, I've got a lot of comments from people saying, what is this tube in your mouth in a music video? Well, it's called a talk box. It's a device. It's this little thing. Um, and what can I say about it? It's actually a speaker. As you can see here, over here is a speaker. You got a tube. Let's attach the tube to the speaker. And then once you turn it on, and you route a synth sound through it, or in my case, my computer, which has synth sounds, then uh, the sound of the synth will go through the tube, like this. So, right? Um, now, when you do that, and you add the tube to your mouth, and you start talking, you can sound like Daft Punk, basically. <laughs> So yeah, that's a talk box, <laughs> basically. Um, so how it works. Like I said, you have a input on the back. So the sound from your computer, in my case, uh, comes from the headphones from my computer. It goes into this, this little thing. And then it goes to the tube, like I showed you before. And then you actually record that with a microphone. So there's no output setting on this thing. You actually record your voice because that's what gives the sound. A computer can't make the S, the T, vowels and all that stuff. So uh, you actually have to record it. So, and um, what I do personally is I uh, write a MIDI line like this. Um, and I send that through the talk box and then I record this on a audio channel. So let's say I record this. I put my speakers back off and I just put my headphone volume on. Uh, where the sound is going through the talk box. And then I start recording, so let's go. Clarity, don't know anymore, I a memory. I'm the therapy. And that's it, that's how you record it, so it will sound like this. Clarity, don't know anymore, I you a memory. Um, so yeah, that definitely needs a lot of processing, which I did here. So, for instance, this one. And then I started making multiple doubles. So I got this, and I got this one. This one. I also put pen then left to right, as you can hear. And I added two uh, recordings. Uh, for this part, um, I played synths as well and wrote, routed the two vocals, so these two, plus the synths into a bus and then into a vocoder, which sounds like this. So that's pretty cool as well. And then um, I recorded some hums, some chords. Also some lower. And I put one bass thing underneath. Because I obviously can't produce sub with my voice, so you have to actually write that in. So everything together. Right, so then I save all of that and then go to the song project because otherwise my project will become way too big so I separate the two. So this is a song project. Uh, let's break this down really quickly. I made a little intro with a rising release bass. Uh, I made some plugs over here. And then I got the vocals and stuff over here. And then I also added some effect kind of vocals over here. Then as you can see, it's just vocals over here. The only 
only thing I added is a reverse. Oh cool. Then it goes into the build up. Which is all this stuff. Some, some synths as well. And then it goes straight into the drop. Let's get it. So. So let's show you what that is. Um, as you can see, it's mostly audio because my PC started to crash. But um, yeah, I got some like, I call them Nero steps from Nero Innocence. I made them really short, fluffy sounds. Uh, these are some bases, uh, which are square bases within Serum. Um, and uh, if you add sevenths or fifths or fourths, uh, like the tones, you will get that really nice resonating uh, melodic thing. And then added stabs, which are basically like house things. Uh, some subs. And as you can see, this is like a noisy, just to give some attack and some like character to the sub. Um, then some background stuff, some vocals, and then um, over here we go into the first uh, like chorus, I guess, if you can like that. First, first verse. So these are all the vocals basically. Don't even know that the time passes by. Right, and then we go back into another drop, which is basically the same build it, but just more. Uh, variations added and some more macros and stuff. Then we're going to the disc draw. Which is basically a copy of the first drop. And then I have a little instrumental uh, solo thing at the end, which is this synth. The And then to wrap it all uh, down, I really like to go to complete emptiness to silence, which is just the entire instrumental cut to silence, and it's just the a cappella again. And that's it. So it's not a very complicated song in terms of sound design, but uh, the talk box was definitely a challenge to get that right. And then it's just a matter of writing the right melodies, the right stuff, and getting your structure down, because I think it's really important to have this part pretty short, otherwise it, the song will get boring and have a little extra solo thing because I copy-pasted the first drop. Um, and I don't want too much of the same stuff happening again. So for this particular song, I thought it was cool to have some repetition, but uh, yeah, it all comes down to structure and uh, the right melodies. So uh, I really hope you like this, I hope you like the talk box and uh, let me know if you dig it and um, please give me a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!